In this video, I'm going to be going over the huge market crash happening right now in NBA 2K23. My team, when's going to be the best time to sell cards, buy cards, and just an overview of the market and what I see happening in the future, and just looking at all these different cards prices. So as you guys most likely know, yesterday on Friday, we did get these new glorious packs, which had some crazy cards in them. We had Dark Matter OG Ananobi, Dark Matter Brandon Ingram, we had Vincible, Kobe, Bean, Bryant. I mean, he's always a crazy pack seller. We had Jeremy Lin, Laurie Mark in a seven foot small forward ak that can play small forward and the shooting guard position we also had invincible larry bird he was a free card from agendas that if you had the trophy case larry bird card you could like basically do agendas and get this one but he was also in packs and he's one of the best small forwards in the game we got invincible mj and then we also do have invincible cream old dude jabbar so four new invincibles mj kareem larry bird and kobe four massive names and big pack sellers especially kobe and jordan in the same drop so if we take a look at those cards prices i mean they're going to be very expensive you got kobe going upwards of a million mt and i'm recording this on saturday a lot of these cards were like a lot of these invincible cards were expensive more expensive on friday for example kobe was easily like 1.5 on friday and if we take a look at MJ, I'm pretty sure he's still fairly expensive as well. I know he was around the million MT mark yesterday. I want to see what his invincible is currently going for. But yeah, I do think the market is fairly down right now. And I'll talk about that here more in a second. But to look at invincible MJ, he's around like probably what, five, six, seven hundred thousand MT. He's still fairly expensive and one of the better point guards in my team. And then we also got invincible Kareem and Larry Bird. Bird is about 500k. He's one of the more invincible. He's one of the more cheaper invincibles. And then you look at Kareem, and he's going to be going for around like 750 at least like he's also very expensive kind of surprised because he doesn't seem as dominant as i was expecting for invincible cream but he's still a really good card and does have a lot of you know value on the auction house so now to talk about the other cards in the game that have went down i mean if you just if you just take a look at the glory set you know if you take a look at a card like lori marketing a seven foot small forward that's a dark matter you would expect to go for a lot of mt right I don't think Laurie Markkinen is a point guard, Evan, but yeah, Dark Matter Laurie Markkinen, he's only going to be what, like 20k, maybe even cheaper. A lot of these glorious cards are super cheap, and that's because there's a 20% chance at a Dark Matter. So whenever the whenever the Friday content, dro content drops, a lot of the lower tier Dark Matters just shoot down in price because there's so many other Dark Matters coming in the game, and they become super cheap. So as time goes on, these cheaper Dark Matters are just going to get cheaper and cheaper. We got Dark Matter Laurie Markkinen going for about like 20 20,000 MT, maybe 22, 23. You look at a card like Josh Smith, he's such a good small forward in the game, but he's also going to be so, so cheap. Like, he's one of the better budget cards in the game because if you look at Dark Matter Josh Smith, he is somehow going to be below 10K. I don't understand that. The fact that Josh Smith is only around, you know, I put the wrong bid in, but yeah, he's only around like 7 AK, I believe. That's kind of crazy, man. Like, he's a top level small forward. They made this card actually souped out, and you can now get him for around, like I said, about seven, maybe 8,000 MT, like 7K for Dark Matter Josh Smith. That just goes to show you guys, like, how low these Dark Matters are going to be that drop in every single pack. And if you look at the previous pack with the Heat Waves, right, there's so many cards in here that were cheap Dark Matters. The only expensive one was Ralph Sampson, and he's still going to be fairly expensive in price. I think, I think people are starting to realize how good Ralph Sampson is. And he's actually gone back up to a bid. And that's because people didn't realize how cheap and how good Ralph Sampson was. I bought mine for literally 100K. And a lot, and I saw a lot of people buying them for like 75 and 80K. So now Ralph Sampson, he's gone back up a decent amount in price. But then you look at the other Dark Matters. They're still going to be super cheap. So I think the market has crashed a lot for these lower tier Dark Matters. If you look at the more expensive ones like Tim Thomas, Luca, you know, these cards from the interdimensional set, they're going to be down a tiny bit, nothing too crazy. Like usually when the market crashes, it's not too much with the expensive cards. Like if you look at Vince Carter, he's going to be around the same price. You know, he's still about, uh, I guess he's gone down a tiny bit. He's like 65K now, 60 to 65K. So he's gone down a slight bit. You look at Ron Artest, I'm sure he's still around that 75. Yeah, still around that 75K range. A lot of these cards didn't move too much down in price, but it's mainly just the other dark matters that I think have gone down. I just want to say this one more. I just want to say this and every single market talk video, just in case somebody new is watching and doesn't know about this. But if you guys are new to the market and don't understand it completely, a quick little guide is the best time to be buying cards when they're at their cheapest is every single Friday, unless the content drop is completely terrible, which is not going to happen. Now that we're getting four invincibles every single drop, 
you're never really going to see a bad content drop anymore just because of the invincibles are going to hold so much value on the auction house you know kobe uh, kobe at almost a mil you know cream at like 750 mj probably at like 700 at least so that's always going to hold value now that we're getting four invincibles and and soon we'll get like those next cards we'll get those next cards with victor we'll get end games very very soon so every single Friday is always the best time to buy cards because that's when the new packs drop and the best specific time on Friday is around 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. And the reason that is is because when the new cards come out, like the Kobe, like the MJ, if somebody pulls them at 11 a.m. Eastern time when the packs drop, right, and then they sell a Kobe, if they sell Kobe right at 11 a.m. Eastern, that means the first Kobe's and the first cards are going to be ending at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So while everybody's trying to go spend millions of MT on the first Kobe, trying to go spend millions of MT on Cream and, you know, hundreds of thousand MT on Bird and MJ, that is the best time to be buying the other cards from older sets, right? So if you've wanted a KG, if you wanted to run or test, if you wanted a Nikola Jokic, that is the best time to buy these specific cards, right? If you wanted a, you know, Dirk Nowitzki, you wanted a Yao, that is the best time to buy these specific cards the more expensive ones that dropped in like season six or earlier in season seven like let's say for example you want a ralph sampson i'm sure he was pretty he was very cheap on not very cheap but he was you know still fairly cheap on friday but then usually the market starts to go back up a little bit on saturday night kind of like the market slowly starting to go back up in price it was down a ton on friday and saturday morning when i'm recording this video i would say the market's still fairly low it's just not like as low as it was on Friday. So just a tip to you guys in case somebody's new watching that doesn't understand. If you guys are looking to buy any cards and you want to and you want to buy them for their cheapest value, it's always going to be on Friday at around 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time or just any time on Friday is usually just a good blueprint to start off with. Very basic tips and then also a good time to sell cards when they're always going to be at their highest value is on Sunday and Monday because usually that's when we're not getting really too much content. Like we are getting the all time dark matters but people are you know kind of just looking to sell or are people looking to buy cards a lot of people playing on the weekend so that's usually when the market does go back up in price so for example right now if you guys wanted to sell some cards you have maybe have a ralph Sampson you wanted to sell because i know a lot of people like he was like 70k 75k so if you maybe wanted to sell ralph Sampson right now because he's over 100 could be a good idea to do so maybe there's some other expensive cards in the game you want to sell i would wait till sunday or monday to do so and then quickly just talking about what i could see coming in the future i gotta check this i'm pretty sure the draft is on the 22nd of june if somebody could fact check me if i'm right or wrong on that i'm pretty sure the draft is the 22nd which means next friday will be so i guess maybe two fridays from now i'm not sure where they're gonna when they're gonna drop those next packs but once we get victor wembenyama i think i just said his name actually right there for the first time in history that i've ever said his name right but once we get him in the game like the market's gonna go down a ton because people are gonna be spending two to three million mt on the first couple of victors because he's got that much hype in the game so i'm very interested to see when we do get those next packs with scoot henderson victor you know all the different rookies in the game that will be definitely a hype set so i think that's coming soon just to let you guys know that i think in the future we could definitely see something like that in the next couple of weeks if you guys haven't been playing my team they always drop the next packs around the draft and, and that's going to include all the rookies as dark matters in the game at least that's what they've done the past couple of years so very excited for that once we get victor once we get scoot and all of those top name rookies but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the market currently let me know what cards you guys are trying to buy what cards you guys are trying to sell and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace